Well, hello everybody and welcome back to week two, module two in your IDS 105 learning community. I'm super excited to share with you what is on deck for your second week in your IDS 105 class. And I wanted to really just take a little bit of time to just make sure that we understand social justice and a few other other concepts that you're going to learn new this week as you begin to work on your very first project draft overview, which is part of your um, guidebook final project. So first and foremost, your experience here at Southern New Hampshire University is important to us. It's our policy and practice to create an inclusive and accessible learning environment. If there are aspects of instruction or course design that present barriers to accessibility, please not notify the Online Accessibility Center, the OAC, as soon as possible at 866-305-9430. You can also email them at oac at snhu.edu or visit the Online Accessibility Center website. The Online Accessibility Center team is a dedicated group of SNHU professionals that are here to help you get content in a way that works best for you. Things like this webinar content, content in your classroom, and other university-related content. If you think that you might benefit from this or have more questions, don't hesitate to reach out to the OAC team. So a couple of webinar reminders. We do have two formats for the webinars. We have live sessions, which you do not have another live session until week six of this term. The other sessions are all like today. They're an on-demand pre-recorded webinar, which are always available on every Monday morning when your new week or new module starts. As we get closer to um, week six, there'll be information that comes out regarding the access information, dates and times for the webinar that'll be held live via Microsoft Teams. As a reminder, the learning community, your classroom space, and these webinars and the YouTube channel are all academic spaces. Always be mindful of your conduct. These webinars here in the learning community, they're not required, they're not graded, there's no extra credit points, but hopefully it'll help you with the content that you are covering from week to week. You learn some things and you'll feel more supported and have a little bit of fun. Couple of reminders for this. Week two, number one, please make sure that you are reading your course announcements and checking your SNHU University email. It is so important to be reading those course announcements through the week, so check them multiple times every single week because your faculty spend time helping you with helpful hints on how to do your assignments, successful tips and tricks for you to get your work completed, and they also break down different concepts and do reminders of due dates, deadlines, and just helpful information for you to be successful in your class. Also, the university communicates with you via your SNHU university email. So always make sure that you're checking those things at least a couple of times a week so you can really stay on top of your journey here at SNHU. Also, if you have questions, you're stuck, like you're not sure of something, please don't hesitate to reach out and connect with your faculty or your SNHU advisor. We want you to be successful. To reach out to your faculty, remember you can find their contact information and a little bit about them in that My Instructor Information part of your announcement section. Also, guess what comes back this week? Your week one grades will come back in week two, which is this week, by this Sunday. So do you know how to check them? Do you know how to find your faculty feedback? I'm going to show you just real quick. So when you log into your Brightspace classroom and you click on course menu, there is that pull down menu. You can scroll all the way down to grades. When you click on grades, it will pull up a list of all of your course assignments. For any items that have been graded, you will see points and a grade for that assignment. Plus an overall grade will be up at the top for the term so far. Next to each assignment, there will be an icon that you want to click on to see your feedback and what your faculty wrote on what you did well, what you might need to improve, and any different university resources you might want to connect with. That'll be found underneath that comments and assessments area. Make sure you are staying on top of your grades. Check it weekly, know what is due, know what you turned in, see how you did, make sure that everything is showing up how it should. If you ever have questions about your grades or something's not showing up that you thought you turned in, always reach out directly to your instructor. So what do we have on deck here in module two, week two? You have two assignments this week. You have your very first project draft assignment in IDS 105, and you have a warm up assignment, which is like a quiz. I wanted to talk about the project draft really quick because you wanna make sure that you have Microsoft Word or something compatible so that you can open up the template and type right in it, okay? Remember, you get Office 365 for free as an SNHU student. 
And you can find that underneath online student services in your Brightspace classroom. I want to note that for IDS 105, there are certain assignments where you can submit video notes for your actual assignments. However, for these project drafts, video note assignments are not permitted. So make sure you are using the assigned template for these assignments. If you get stuck, if you have questions, please reach out to your instructor or your advisor. Both of these items, your project draft assignment and your warm up, are both due by Sunday of week two. As always, you can do them earlier in the week. I would actually encourage it if it works for your schedule. That way, in case the week gets away from you, you can stay on track with things. As a reminder, your warm up assignment, you want to make sure that you review the required resources. And when you take that warm up assignment, it does auto grade. You can take it multiple times. So if you realize that you didn't do so hot, you might want to go back and review some things and then take that assignment again. Make sure with your project draft that you are taking into account the reading and the terminology that you had in module one in addition to what you are going to be covering this week in module two. Make sure you read through any assigned chapters and any additional reading plus what is in the module to really help you fully understand the concepts and terminology here for IDS week, IDS 105's week two assignments before you start that project draft. So just to recap, last week we started talking and learning about social justice here in IDS 105. As a reminder, social justice is defined as the concept in which equity or justice is achieved in every aspect of society rather than only some aspects or for some people and affords individuals and groups fair treatment. That is our course definition for social justice here for IDS 105. Along with our definition of social justice, we talk about the core principles. As a reminder, those core principles of social justice are number one, access to resources, number two, equity, number three, participation, number four, diversity, number five is human rights. This week, as you begin working through your reading and your assigned required resources and working through module two, you are also going to be expanding your learning into covering what fairness equality and how perceptions can impact those two things along with social justice. So you will notice in your module reading, these three questions are listed and I wanted to put them in the webinar this week. So you start to think about them early as you begin going through your required resources. The very first question in number one is how have the experiences you have lived impacted your beliefs and behaviors? So take a minute and think about your experiences in life. Are there things that you have been through or are going through or have gone through that have impacted your everyday beliefs and how you behave when you're interacting with other people? Question two, have your values led you to view people from different cultures accurately or with bias? Sit for a minute. Think about it. How do you interact or view with different cultures? Question three, what symbols have become cultural norms for you and have you learned additional symbols over time? Think about your everyday. Think about your past experiences. Think about your perspective and your perceptions. As we work through the content this week, you are going to be pushed a little bit outside your comfort zone and really have to consider how you interact or view other people and your perception of other people, other cultures. And how is your perception something that is good or does it need maybe a little bit of editing, right? Now, this ties directly into your project draft. So for your project draft, you are going to be working from the very same document throughout the term, okay? So under module two, you will find directions on choosing a scenario. What you see in module two is going to be just a brief synopsis of the three different scenarios and the conflicts that you can pick from. You wanna pick one scenario, 
okay? To view all the details, all the information, lots of key points about each scenario, you're going to want to actually visit the scenario profiles, which I will make sure um, that I show you guys, but they can be found underneath the supporting materials. So you'll notice you have scenario one is a school scenario. Scenario two is a personal scenario. Scenario three is a workplace scenario but you can find all of them underneath the scenario profiles in more detail. And I'll show you guys that here in just a little bit. Once you have chosen your scenario profile, you actually want to go ahead and open up the template for your project drafts, okay? Pay attention because you will notice that at the very top, you need to identify your chosen scenario. So you would type which scenario you picked here in this spot. And then the second part is you will notice that on the template, each section has listed what module you should be completing those questions in. For module two, you are completing the four questions that are underneath part one, social justice. So what you will be answering is number one, explain the difference between justice, fairness, and equality in the scenario. So you're going to take a look at the scenario you picked, review the story behind it, and then you're going to pick out and explain the differences between justice, fairness, and equality in that scenario, okay? Question number two, very similar. Describe how bias maybe influenced your perception of social justice in that, again, scenario that you chose. Question three, describe how different narratives in society can impact your perception of social justice. Answer that question and also keep your scenario in mind. Question four, describe the core principles of social justice in the scenario that you picked. Again, you can type directly in this project draft and I'm gonna show you what this looks like here in the classroom too. So hold on just a second and I will share my screen with you. So if we go into Brightspace, remember learning course menu, learning modules, module two, you want to click on the module two introduction and you will see the objectives and overview for what you will be working with and talking about and learning about in module two. OK, as you scroll through, remember that you have a lot of content right here. So when we were taking a look at our journal assignment, there was talk about equality, right? And perception and fairness. This this part of your module will give you a great start in beginning to understand this terminology and these concepts. So make sure that you review all of this in addition to your required resources. So this week, you're going to be reading that chapter three and pay attention to these specific areas. There's also going to be a great video for you to watch that talks about the difference right in equal in equity and equality and then you have another video to watch a few videos to watch but you also have this additional support down here and these optional resources that are great resources for you to just expand the concepts for your own okay now what i wanted to show you is you have that warm-up so remember you just click on start quiz to begin your very first attempt after you've read the required resources and the module content, then take it, okay? But when you get to that 2-2 project draft, you wanna click on guidelines and rubric and it'll open up the overview and directions of the project. Now, I mentioned to you that when you review the directions, you're gonna see these quick scenarios, okay? to find all of the information to really help you make the best decision in picking what scenario you wanna work with all term. Scroll down under this what to submit area, um, you'll see supporting materials. So click on this scenario profiles, okay? And when you do that, it is gonna take you to this. You will notice that scenario one school, here is those extended scenarios and all the information. So it'll give you more information about the scenario and about the conflict to help you pick which one you want to utilize all term. So you have scenario one was that school, scenario two is personal, scenario three is workplace, right? So pick what resonates with you and which one you think would really be best for your success to work with all term, okay? 
Now, the other thing I wanted to point out again is you have a template for that assignment, okay? So you can find that template right here under what to submit, click the blue, it gets you to where you wanna go. And when you do that, it will download that into your downloaded area or wherever you might have it put. And here is the entire template. Now, again, it's in Microsoft Word, so it's really important that you have something compatible or if you have Microsoft Office to be able to open up this document. You can click Enable Editing and you type directly in here. So first and foremost, we had to identify your chosen scenario. So you wanna list here, which one did you pick, okay? And then pay attention, like I said, you'll notice this says complete this section in module two. Notice as you scroll down, you'll see that some of these are for other modules, module four, module three, module three, module five. OK, so you're only worried about module two right now. You are going to use this document over and over and over again throughout the term. So you want to make sure you save it. And then when you upload it, you'll have that copy on your desktop because when you do your project draft in module three, you're going to open up the same one and you're going to be typing directly in it. But for this week, you're just focusing on these first four questions. So you what you would do is you would just click directly in here. And for example, this one says, you know, explain the difference um, between justice, fairness and equality. Type, 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 type right here. Use complete sentences. Make sure you provide enough detail and information so your perspective comes across and your whole thoughts are understood, okay? There's not a word count, there's not a certain number of paragraphs you have to have, but you wanna make sure that you are answering the question so your instructor can understand what you're trying to say, okay? Same thing with question two, you wanna answer it right under here and keep in mind for each of these questions, you are considering the scenario that you picked above, okay? You will save it and you will upload it underneath your module two assignments. Your faculty member will be grading them. Remember, you won't see those grades until later in week three. But again, pay attention because here in module two, you just have those first four questions. You will use the same template from week to week when you have project drafts. If you're stuck, if you have questions, do not hesitate to let your instructor know. This is also a great time, y'all, a great time for you to reach out and utilize the academic support writing services. Actually, I'm gonna show you that just as a reminder where you can find them um, because I think it's so important for you guys to utilize those services and you can find them underneath academic support. And when you click on that, it's gonna pull up the tutoring options, workshops, all the coaching options, but this written feedback, when you wanna click on try it now and follow the prompts, you can actually upload your writing assignments. So for example, this first part of your project draft to the writing services written feedback team, they will review it. They will just kind of make sure that you're on track. They'll make sure that you're kind of answering things right and just give you some feedback within 12 hours. So then you can make any changes as necessary before you submit it to be graded. OK, so I wanted to make sure I showed you guys that because I think this is a great time to utilize that assignment, especially if you're trying to make sure that your point is getting across OK and that you have enough details and information for each question. That's going to be it for week two, y'all. You just have that journalist or that project draft assignment and the warm up assignment. And I wanted to leave you guys with this quote by Paul Hockham. Everywhere in the world are ordinary people willing to confront despair, power, and incalculable odds in order to restore some resemblance of grace, justice, and beauty to this world. What changes and impact can you make every day and make for others? Something to think about as you tackle everything for a week too. Have a wonderful week. You got this, and I'll see you in week three.